This is the example on slide 27 of our chapter 21 PowerPoint. Um, and here we are going to write nuclear equations for beta decay, positron emission, and electron capture. So we have an example of each of these. Um, so we'll start one at a time. First, we'll start with the beta decay um, of berkelium 249. <laughs> So beta decay basically means that this is undergoing an emission of a beta particle, which is written similarly to an electron. So the symbol for a beta particle is 0 over negative 1, because it's the same as an electron, so it's got a minus 1 charge, and then a little e for electron. Very creative. So for our beta decay example, um, we're going to start with writing our incomplete nuclear equation and build up to figuring out what this mystery element um, we are forming is. So berkelium 249, 249's going to go on the top just like we talked about last time. If you look at your periodic table, um, berkelium is in the very, very bottom in that separate little section underneath the periodic table. It um, is element number 97, so it's got 97 protons. And then we'll write its symbol, BK. Berkelium um, was named after University of California, Berkeley, um, because that's where it was discovered little fun fact for you. So that's all for the reactant side. On the product side, we're forming some element, that's what we're trying to figure out, plus an electron or a beta particle. They're basically interchangeable. So now we're going to figure out what the mass number and atomic number of our element are that we're forming, and from there we can figure out what the element symbol is. So. 249 minus 0 gives us, surprise, surprise, 249 again. And then 97 minus negative 1 ends up um, becoming 98, because a negative plus a negative gives you a positive. So the symbol 249 over 98. And then if you look at your periodic table, right next to berkelium is californium, CF, also named after the state of California. Um, this one was also synthesized in the labs at UC Berkeley. Um, so yeah, another interesting tidbit. Uh, so your final equation for this, 249 over 97 BK gives you 249 over 98 CF plus 0 over negative 1 E. So that is 4A. That's your final equation. Next, we're going to look at the positron emission of oxygen 15. So a positron is sometimes called an anti-electron. It's basically the opposite of an electron or a beta particle. And it has the symbol 0 over positive 1 E. So same setup as before. We're going to write our unbalanced initial reaction, figure out what element we're forming, and then we can write the balanced complete reaction. So <laughs> 15 is our mass number for oxygen. If you go to your periodic table. Oxygen's atomic number is 8. It's got 8 protons and we're going to put an O next to it, and we're forming something plus 0 over positive 1 E. So if we do 15 minus 1, oops, not 15 minus 1, 15 minus 0, we get 15 again, and if we get 8 minus 1, we get 7. So our symbol is going to be 15 over 7, and there you consult your periodic table and see that nitrogen has seven protons, so that's the symbol of the element that goes next to it. So your complete balanced equation 
15 over 8 O makes 15 over 7 N plus 0 over plus 1 E. And that's how you write an equation for positron emission. And then our last example is the electron capture of iodine 111. So this one is slightly different because instead of emitting or decaying, we're actually going to be writing our electron on the reactant side because basically it's capturing electrons to form something else. So an electron has the symbol, same exact symbol as a beta particle, zero, oops, forgot to take it out of highlighter mode, zero over negative one E. And so the way we're going to start by writing this is we'll have our 111 on top next to iodine. And we'll look at the periodic table to figure out how many protons iodine has. And that's 53. Um, let me erase that I. It's kind of disproportionate. There we go. And that is going to be added together with the zero negative one electrons. Because basically, electrons in this case are being captured. They're reacting. They're part of the reactant side, not the product side. So an electron capture, your radiation or whatever is a reactant, not a product. So now it's not a case of subtracting. It's a case of adding these two together, the numbers to figure out what element we're forming. So 111 plus 0 gives you 111. And 53 plus negative 1 gives you 52. So the elements that we're forming is 111 over 52. And if we consult our periodic table, the atomic number 52 is representative of tellurium which has the elemental symbol Te. So that is your final answer for the third um, radiation electron capture um, nuclear equation. And hopefully by now you know how to write a nuclear equation, you know how to balance it, it's pretty straightforward process.